Hello learners, now let us see how to solve this given question. Here we are given that Z1 is minus 1, Z2 is minus i. These two are complex numbers and we need to find out argument of Z1 into Z2. Okay. So, before we find out the argument of Z1 into Z2, first we need to find out the argument of Z1, next we need to find out the argument of Z2. Okay. Stay with me, I will explain slowly in an easy manner. See, Z1 is minus 1. Okay, minus 1 can be written as minus 1 plus i into 0. Okay, it's totally okay. So, now this, this complex number, I can write it as minus 1 comma 0. Now, you could ask me why I wrote it like this because, you know, it will be easy to find out the argument if it is in this form. So, I got it as a point. I got this as a point in the 2D plane. Now, what is the relation between me doing this and getting the argument? See. Let me just explain this a little. See, uh, the point minus one comma zero is here. Okay, it's it's going to be minus one comma zero is going to be here somewhere here. Okay, this is the point minus one comma zero. This is my origin zero comma zero. Now just connect these two. Just connect these two. Now what is this argument? Argument is, you see, how much angle does, does this line make with the positive x-axis, okay, fine. So, if you will check this angle, this will come out to be 180 degrees. This is my positive x, okay. So, if you will check this angle is one, plus 180 degrees, okay. So, basically, uh, that is pi. So, that is what my argument is. Since minus 1 comma 0 lies on negative x-axis, argument of z1 is pi. Now, let's come to the next complex number. Next, we are given z2 as minus i. Minus i, I can write it as 0 plus i into minus 1. Okay, minus i can write it as i into minus 1 and I just wrote 0. Now, this I can write it as 0 comma minus 1. This I can write it as 0 comma minus 1. Now, let us plot this on the graph to find out its argument. Okay, to find out its argument. Now, see, 0 comma minus 1 will be somewhere here. 0 comma minus 1 somewhere here okay now what is this what how much is this making with the positive direction of x-axis see here i could measure the angle in two ways either uh, in anti-clockwise or in clockwise but i'm going to measure in clockwise it is 90 degree since i measured in clockwise it is minus 90 degrees okay since it lies on negative y-axis it is minus pi. now why because argument of a number argument of a number always lies between i, I mean argument of a complex number or belongs to it belongs to open minus pi to closed pi that's why if i were to measure this angle like this then it would go to 270 degrees that's how i measured it in clockwise all the minus will come okay fine so this is what i have here so argument of z1 is pi and argument of z2 is minus pi by 2 okay shallow now Argument of Z1, Z2 is nothing but argument of Z1 plus argument of Z2, okay. It is something like a formula which you can remember here. In this case, this, uh, this applies. Now, argument of Z1 is pi and argument of Z2 is, you know, minus pi by 2. That's what I wrote, pi minus pi by 2. Pi minus pi by 2 is nothing but pi by 2. That's it. This is my required answer. I hope you guys understood it and thank you for being up till now. In case you like this video, Please hit the like button, it will encourage me to make many more of such videos. Thank you.